Uh, so it's my very special pleasure to introduce uh, the head of special projects from the Ethereum Foundation, Virgil Griffith. Please make him feel welcome. All right. Hello, everyone. You press the button. Okay. So, so, uh, so hi. Nice, nice, nice to see everyone. So, uh, so special projects mostly works on. It's kind of a, a, a myriad of things. Um, they're they're usually things that we think are valuable to do, but um, but they're not quite quite uh, incredibly important for anyone to work on it full time. So this is just kind of a, a grab bag. So uh, I'll give you. So, so here's kind of what we got. So here, so here's, so, so here's a new idea that, uh, for for Ethereum. It's, a, it's this idea that I call game warping. So the um, so 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 we've all heard of, heard of the prisoner's dilemma and how this is the classically non-cooperative game. Under Ethereum, fun fact, this actually becomes a cooperative game. So uh, so the way you can do this is if you and I are going to go do something naughty, we can both put put in a million dollar deposit, and if we publish the defect message, our million dollars gets burned. So the idea is that as long as the police don't offer us more than a million dollars to defect, it is rational for us to cooperate. And so this, this is sort of a generic strategy that you can use to turn seemingly any non-cooperative game into a cooperative game. So uh, there's there's like a paper about this. Um, if you if you want to, you can you can c come read it. I think it's one of uh, so if you're looking for like you know you know if you're looking for like a template for building your Ethereum startup or like what Ethereum is for, uh, this is what I suggest reading. So uh, so so we we had this new thing coming out. So it, um, yeah, so in, in about two months, so e e Ether is going to be declared Sharia compliant. So we started working with this group called Amani Associates. They do Sharia uh, uh, Sharia consulting for Fortune 500s. Um, after after much discussion, it looks like you know they said you know Ether thumbs up, and they even said you know proof of stake is more halal than proof of work. So hey, you know I mean I mean it surprised me too. So, um, so, so if you want to, you can you, you, you can read about it, um, and yeah, and so, so the way this started. Well, okay, so, so I can't show it to you. So, so, so we, so we, 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 we've been working with them for a little bit, and um, yes, this is this is coming out. So the hope will be that uh, the the Islamic uh, banking world will start standardizing on Ethereum. So, all right, we'll see how that goes. Um, so this is an, another new project coming out. So we, we're working on re revising the, the, the EIP process. So you've all seen this, 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 there's been a big governance discussion lately. So this doesn't solve the governance question, but it helps us like take kind of a, a, a cut out of it. So, um, so originally we were talking about, so I mean, as you know, the EIPs are very important. Uh, so originally we were going to join the IETF, the Internet Engineering Task Force, to help us write these standards. The more we talked in the Internet Engineering Task Force, they basically told us to go somewhere else. And we we're like, oh, well, that, that's interesting. And um, they basically said that, that, they have, that they have too much bureaucracy and it will uh, saddle us with, with a lot of red tape. And they said, oh, well, well, who are some places that we could go to? And they said, oh, well, there's these people, people call it, called Oasis. And um, so, so, so we're doing an experiment. We're going to put the, put the EIPs. Uh, we're, so we're going to do some EIPs. So there'll be, like, there'll be two parallel tracks. There'll be the regular EIP process. And there will the current period, And there'll be this new Oasis-inspired process. And so these people are consultants to help you get your standards you know, the best they can be. Um, yeah, so I know we'll we'll kind of see how that goes, and there'll probably be an announcement of that um, in uh, in in probably about a month or two. If you're curious, so if you're curious how it works, so uh, it, it's um, so it, it breaks down power between uh, two different groups. There's the technical steering committee, and there's the project governance board. So the technical steering committee will probably be composed of mostly the magicians who currently do most of the work, and the project governance board is mostly organizations. So right now, these are uh, these are sort of the there's I guess there's three organizations and and Nick Johnson's because you know we we just love Nick. And um, yeah, so if you're curious about this, you can, um, you, you, can, you can read about it, and this will be a new experiment. Um, so, uh, so, so, a, a lot of, so this is back to the idea of what Ethereum is for. I actually think this might become the new killer app for, for Ethereum, and, and it's insurance. And I mean, I must admit, I mean, I know relatively, relatively little, little about insurance, but I actually think this might be the new thing. So I would probably say the very first killer app for Ethereum was just sending an integer to each other, and you know, because you know, we all like sending money. And the second one was was the ICO. And so, I'll, so I'll give you an example of this insurance one. 
So there's a thing called, called parametric insurance where there's no claims process. It's, 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 it's closer to a prediction market. Like if X happens, you just get paid. And so, so, uh, so, so the first one is one, so one called, called, called Hurricane Guard in Puerto Rico. Um, so for those of you uh, unaware, they have had uh, problems with hurricanes, and, uh, and I learned that regular citizens actually could not get um, um, this, this parent hurricane insurance because, um, I don't know, just too, 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 um, there was too much bureaucracy, it was just, just too expensive. And, but with this today, uh, you, can, you, you, can, you, can, uh, you can buy a policy, and the policy says if the National Weather Service reports that there's been wind speeds above some integer in my zip code, uh, you just get paid, and you get paid within 24 hours, and just... Uh, um, yeah, you know, and, and it just works. Uh, I'm inclined to say probably all disaster and weather, weather insurance should be done this way. So, um, so yeah, so I think this could be the next killer app for Ethereum. So, uh, so, there's, so here's, here's another one. So, um, so uh, Ethereum Classic. Um, they're our friends now. I know, it surprises me too. And um, so, 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 I'll, so I'll kind of tell you how this started. So, uh, so this, so, the, so uh, actually, it start, actually, it started at, at last year's EdCon. Yeah. So, so, so after after one year, we have gone from from you know, I guess, being introduced to each other to friends. So you know, hey, it's great. So, uh, so this, so after, uh, so uh, after last year's EdCon, we decided to to make a bridge between the two. Actually, can we press the button? There we go. Yeah, we said to make a bridge between the two. Basically, you could have wrapped ETC and wrapped ETH on 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 each other's chains. So we did that first, and then we decided to give them a grant um, because we, because we found you know we had some extra ETC just lying around, and they you know and they were very thankful for that. And now ETC is doing all kinds of great things. Like so so they're now funding some of the test nets, and they have this new thing called uh, called OpenRPC for making interface with Ethereum clients. And now really like ET, ETC is doing all, all kinds of like like, like 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 lovely work for us. And, well, I mean for the broader Ethereum community, and we should all like say you know. Thanks, guys. So, um, so this may be an inspiration for doing um, future collaborations. Um, so, these, so this is some new stuff coming out. So, uh, so this, this one works. So this is so this is this is eth.eth.link. The idea is so this is this is a plugin between Ethereum name service and IPFS. So the idea is that if if, if you register foo.eth and you associate an IPFS hash with it, you can go to foo.eth.link. You, like you, you, you just take your ENS and append dot link to it, and it will just work. So uh, so you can see this uh, uh, right, right here. Um, and there's there's there, there's no plugins and 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 no nothing. So so this is something that you can do with your with your ENS name, and you can host host your your your, your naughty websites. All right. Oh, next one. Um, so 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 a while ago, Vitalik asked me, Virgil, what what are what are the biggest reasons not to do proof of stake? And I said I said I say, but, but proof of stake is so great. He's like, well, I know that. It's like, and I say, but but if there were to be a concern, you know, you know, what would be what, what, what would be one? I said, well. I said, well, well, the, your opsec goes goes go, your opsec concerns go up a lot, and because the idea is that that you know if you get so under proof of work if you get owned someone can really start mining under their own keys, but under proof of stake it gets a little bit actually it gets a lot worse. <laughs> so under proof of stake uh, they, they 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 can cause you to get slashed, so they can't take your money, but they can cause you to burn all your money, and you're like, oh well, you know that's that's I mean that's kind of a downer. Um, so, 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 so we had this idea for, for, for fixing it. So it's called the Never Slash. So it's a, it's, it's a NeverSlash.com. It's, 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 it's still working on it. Basically, the gist is this: instead of storing the, the, the private keys uh, on your own disk, you, you, you put them on a hardware wallet, and you connect the hardware wallet to a Raspberry Pi, and then you connect the Raspberry Pi to your computer. And so, 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 the, so the idea is that, that when you want to sign a message, uh, it, it, so it goes to the Raspberry Pi, then to the hardware wallet. And the, the idea is that if the, if the Raspberry Pi in the middle ever sees a vote that would cause you to get slashed, it just, it just declines to relay the vote. So the idea is that as long as this Raspberry Pi is plugged in, uh, physically plugged in, you can't get slashed, even if you get owned. So yeah, so this is this is uh, so I, so for all of you that are concerned, that are going to be validators or concerned about staking, we think this is probably a good good thing to do. Um, so 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 this is another so this is a, a, another new idea that we're playing with, a uh, special project. So uh, so I, I I call it national side chains, and so the the idea is to have an uh, a, an optional fallback to the traditional legal system 
if you want it. If you don't want it, hey man, totally cool. And um, you know, and there's be, 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 be like regular Ethereum. So 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 um, so 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 we wanted to have this. So we both, our idea was to have like a, a, a different side chain for every government in the world. And so 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 the idea is like if I'm a Singaporean, you're a, and I say you're an Australian, but for whatever reason we just love French courts. We can we we can we, instead of doing our transaction on the uh, on the on the big Ethereum chain, we can do it on the .fr side chain. And the idea is that that the the these side chains they are they are backdoored by the DNS set keys of the of uh, of uh, of the .gov for each country. So if you want to be backdoored by Singapore government, you can do .govsg, etc. So um, yeah, I don't know. That's that's that, that, that that's kind of the idea. And so 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 if you want to fall back to the tr traditional legal system, you can now do that. And if you don't want to do that, well, you know, just 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 just, just, keep, just keep doing what you're doing now. Um, all right, so uh, so we we have we have a we have a bunch of new swag. So uh, you can, here you can see this fine swag right here for Ethereum Taiwan. You can see it for lots of them, and you can pay in either in either ETH or Doge, and uh, we have all kinds of lovely swag. Do we? Oh no, wait a minute. This is the, this is this is the this is the not 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 updated slides. Well, all right. Well, there's some more slides. I'll just I'll just tell you about them. Um, well, here I'll guess. Um, hmm. Well, okay, so I'll do the first one right now. So these are these things called 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 Ether cards. So I, I can I, I can give these all, all, all out to y'all. So these are great. This is Ether dot cards. Uh, these uh, so these are mostly this is physicalized Ether. It's mostly for, like physical airdrops. So um, I can I can I can give them out to to all of you here. I'll just like put them put them down here. Um, and um, yeah, here you go. yeah, just just, just kind of give them out. Yeah, here you go. And um, so actually here. So let me let me actually I'll, I'll take one of them. I'll take one of them. Yeah, here you go. Um, can we take a, I guess you can't see a, I guess you can't see a picture of it. Well, anyway, okay, so the idea is that, so you, you have a pretty artwork on the front. You can get whatever artwork you want. There is your address uh, here, and there's, and if you scratch this off, it reveals the private key. And the idea is that until you scratch this off, this is a, as good as cash. So, um, so, so this has mostly been useful for uh, for doing gift cards, you know, say for Christmas or for your Angbao. But it's also been really useful for uh, basically for airdrops. So if you have a conference and and you want and you want to, you know, you know, give out, give a token from say every sponsor, you can now do that. Um, so yeah. So if you want to get so uh, the, the, these are just the samples. I'm sorry, there's no money on them. I act no 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 no. I mean okay no 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 okay. I actually was going to put money on it. I actually was, but our lawyer said you can't do that because. Because, because 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 then you become a money transfer service, and I'm just like so you know so no I I I was down to do it but you know but you know, it could sorry sorry you know blame the lawyers. Um, so anyway so yeah so, so if you're hosting an event um, you know recommend them I think I think I think I think the, 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 these are a lot of fun so and it's for Ether dot cards you can see lots of pretty art so like here you go so here's the uh, so like so here's Chinese New Year here's Singapore you know you you get the idea all right. Do we have, um, nope, we don't have that. So do we, do we have, well, okay, well, I'll just tell you about the, 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 the other ones. Uh, can we, so another one is, is, is ETH, so for a while we've wanted to have a new wiki. So there's a new wiki coming out, actually, I guess this, I guess it'll be this month. So it is eth.wiki, um, thanks so much for Pandia for the domain. And uh, so, um, so, so the hope is, the hope is will be be the uh, be the standard wiki for Ethereum. Uh, we we um, so it uses this new wiki software that has like just just come out. Uh, I want to thank thank Gitcoin because because uh, they basically so um, so I, I want to get stuff done in time time for this conference. But, they, but the developers are working on working on other stuff. So 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 I started using Gitcoin for GitHub issues to 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 get them to 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 meet my own deadlines. And so that 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 was very that was very thoughtful to Gitcoin. Um, there's, can we, can we get a web browser or something like that? I guess we can't, I guess we can't get the rest. Well, um, well, okay, well, there was, there was, there was one more thing on, on visual checksums, um, but I guess we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that, I guess, guess I get the, uh, the next one. There, there are, there are some, some new events coming out that we, that I actually, I'm not allowed to, to, to talk about, um, so, but, uh, but you should look at, uh, but there, but there will be new things coming at the, at the, at, at the, at the Microsoft Build Conference, um, in May, so if, so you, know, you might want to watch that. There will also be new announcements at the upcoming Hyperledger conferences, so you might want to watch that as well. Um, so, but, uh, but I've been told I can't talk about it. So, um, so okay, I don't know, that's, that's kind of that's what I got. Oh, wait, is that the end? Yeah, that's the end.
All right.